When you first get into SketchUp, you're going to want to open up my Maze Guideline template. So you're going to go up to File, Open, and in the top drop down menu of the box, there should be a lot of folders to choose from, and you should have a folder that says Handout Folder. Um, yours looks different than mine right now, but yours is going to have a handout folder. Then when you get in the handout folder, you want to go to the one that says Copanic Handout. And in there you will find something that says Maze Guideline Template. Should look like this. So this should match the worksheet that you are using. What you're going to want to do is be careful to count over the right number of uh, boxes. So my recommendation is to zoom in a little bit and uh, it'll make it a little easier for the program to understand how big of a rectangle you want and try to match up with the lines. So let's say we have our entrance here to the right and then all the rest of this is going to be wall. So I fill that in. Then maybe I have this large section filled in, and this is my exit here. Drag this down to here. And I'm going to continue going around until I find, until I put in all of my rectangles. So this is going to take a little time to get all of your rectangles put in. Okay, you're going to want to be very careful with your counting to make sure it's the right number of blocks down um, because if you don't do so, you'll find that you get stuck somewhere because it's not working out the way it was supposed to. All right, so I'm going to switch over to one that's mostly filled in. So let's say this is after I filled in all of my rectangles. The next step, according to your uh, direction paper, is to go up to View hide guidelines. It either says hide guidelines or you uncheck this box and it'll get rid of all of those dashed lines. The next step is to use the select tool which I'm sorry is not on the screen right now but it's the one that looks like the little black cursor and go around and delete all of the connections like so. So instead of having a lot of rectangles we now have uh, more complex polygons. I'm going to pause this until we get to the next step. Another option is to use the erase tool. Do, do, do. Just be careful to get the connecting lines only. So once you have all of your polygons uh, connected, I don't think I've missed any, the next step is to go to the paint bucket and choose what kind of material your project is going to be uh, made of. I might go to the landscaping vegetation option, but you're welcome to do brick or um, any other material you'd like to use. So let's say I want this to be mm, yeah, I'll go with kind of grassy maze. Your next step is to go through and click that in. Now if we hadn't have gotten rid of all the little lines, it would have taken a lot longer to fill that in, plus it wouldn't have looked as nice. So now I'm just going to go through and make sure that all of those polygons and rectangles are whatever material you want to use. The next step is going to be to use push-pull. And because we did the coloring first, when we lift these, they will already have their other sides filled in for us. So I'm going to click once. I'm going to start pulling up, but I want exactly 8 feet high. So I'm going to do 8 and the little apostrophe and then press enter and it's going to lock to 8 feet. I'm going to do that again for each one. Let's rotate around. Oh, we still missed one. And that's how you make your maze. 
Now, if you want to use the 3D warehouse up here where it says get models, you can add additional things like, you know, trees on the outside. You can find monsters or little surprises to find in the various dead ends and, um, you know, kind of make it your own. Um, don't forget to save often. Then when it comes to using the walking tool, I'm going to show you that next. Okay, to walk in the maze, the first thing I want to do is orient myself so that I am facing the entrance. Kind of zoom in. Okay. Then I'm going to go to camera, the camera menu, and choose the walk tool. Now you'll notice it's little feet as my icon. And now you can use your arrow keys to try to navigate through the weight, the maze, and it's not going to let you walk through the walls. You got stuck. So see if you can make it from your entrance and exit. Now, you might accidentally make it back out your entrance. So you might want to do some kind of feature to know whether it's the entrance or exit so that you don't accidentally think you solved your maze when really you came out the same way as you came in. So if there was something, you know, created or downloaded out here that you're looking for for your entrance or exit, it'll be a little more clear.